Australia eat the most meat worldwide, with the US in second place. Every year, the average American will eat just over 200 pounds of meat. But it's been estimated that up to 40% of the US population suffer from some form of vitamin B12 deficiency. So this is not just a vegan issue. There are so many different B12 supplements on the market, it can be really hard to know which one to take. There are four main types of B12. Methacobolamin, adenosylcobolamin, cyanocobolamin, and hydroxocobolamin. Methacobolamin seems to be the most popular form, as it's one of the two coenzyme forms of vitamin B12, and therefore thought to be the most active. The body has to still convert methacobolamin into the other coenzyme form called adenosylcobolamin. Adenosylcobolamin is the second form of B12. It's the least stable of the four types and doesn't seem to be that effective in a tablet-based supplement. However, having said that, people with fatigue issues have reported getting more relief from adenosylcobolamin than either methacobolamin or cyanocobolamin. Others have said they feel better on a combination of adenosyl and methyl. The third is cyanocobolamin, and it's the most researched form and cheapest to buy. Based on many studies, cyanocobolamin has successfully cured vitamin B12 deficiency, and therefore it's believed that our body can convert cyanocobolamin into methacobolamin and adenosylcobolamin without any problems. The only slight issue is that cyanocobolamin contains a molecule of cyanide, but this amount is so small in supplements that it's thought to be physiologically insignificant. The only people who may need to avoid this form are smokers, people with chronic kidney problems, those with very rare cyanide metabolism defects, and people who've previously dealt with cyanide poisoning. The fourth is hydroxocobolamin. Bacteria naturally create this form of vitamin B12, so it's typically found in animal products, but also B12 injections. Hydroxocobolamin must also be converted by the body into the coenzyme forms methyl and adenosylcobolamin. Let's hear what form Dr. Michael Greger of NutritionFacts.org recommends and why. Which form is preferable, methylcobalamin or cyanocobalamin, and does it make a difference? Yes, it does. I encourage people to choose cyanocobalamin, not methylcobalamin. The, the reason is so uh, 2,500 uh, micrograms of uh, cyanocobalamin is all you need. Uh, probably the easiest, cheapest way to get a regular, reliable source of vitamin B12. The reason they use cyanocobalamin is more shelf stable. Methylcobalamin is not very shelf stable, and so first of all, you have to take um, huge doses comparatively. So a thousand a day, not 2,500 a week. And there have not been a sufficient study. The studies that have been done on reversing B12 deficiency through oral supplementation is all have almost exclusively been done on cyanocobalamin, so we know it works. Whereas there's only one study that took vegans and uh, that with, who are B12 deficiency um, and tried to reverse their B12 deficiency. And there's only one study, just had a few people in it, and in one of the people, it didn't even work at all. Like, they gave them a 1,000 a, a day of methylcobalamin, and it did not reverse their B12 deficiency. And so that's pretty scary. So I encourage everyone, cyanocobalamin, yes, there's a daily dose, but uh, um, I encourage people, uh, probably the easiest way, 2,500 micrograms once a week, costs five bucks a year, you'll be all set. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, Leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos. If you want to see what I'm eating, follow me on Instagram at 801010 in London.